Hey friends, Sean here with Manly Made Minute and welcome back to my channel. So, have you ever gotten some new stamp sets and done a couple cards with them, kind of did what was expected with them and put them away in your drawer and thought, mm, I'll make another card sometime. But, I want to give you an idea of what you can do to stretch your card sets and your new stamp sets uh, to just get the creative juices flowing and create a whole card start to finish background to to the elements on your on your card so interested stick around and I'll show you how Welcome back. All right, let's get started. I recently bought some new stamp sets from Alta New. Have a video on that on my unboxing Happy Mail video, and I am enjoying these steps stamp sets like you would not believe. So I've done a couple cards with almost every set that I've gotten so far, and now I want to just stretch that limit on the these stamp sets to see what else I can use them for besides layering them for flowers because they're layering um, stamps with the die sets. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create backgrounds with these stamps that I can cut using backgrounds, then layer these stamps on top uh, for a just a whole nother new look and something that you can cross over with other stamp sets. So you can do this with any stamp set, cross it over with any other stamp set to make a whole new vision of cards with. So before we get started, welcome to my channel. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button and hit that bell for it and get notified next time I upload my next video. If you're not new here, don't be shy. Still time to hit that subscribe and like button and follow my journey as I just explore uh, this card making journey and I'm just thoroughly having fun with it and love showing you all um, what I am learning on the way and, and what I can uh, come up with creatively. So let's go down to my table and let's just take a look at uh, what we're going to do. I am going to use, um, I've got a pre, oh, I'm gonna hide that, it's in, not supposed to be in view yet. Um, we're gonna use one of my new stamp sets. This is from the Build a Flower Alta New set for the Begonia. We're gonna create a background with this. Then we're going to layer, use the rest of these stamps for layering and uh, make a full card out of this. So what I wanna do first is I wanna create a background. So I have taken the stamp number one, I kinda of number mine or whatever, stamp A, stamp B, whatever. This is, would be the first stamp that you're gonna stamp before you start layering the rest. Uh, if you want the lines, if you kinda want a no line thing, you'd skip this and go to the solid, all right? We're gonna use my line stamp for the begonia, so I grabbed this stamp already, I put it on a block. I'm not using a misty for this. Reason being, one, I wanna use a full eight and a half by 11 sheet, sheet of paper, won't fit in the misty, and I'm gonna be doing this in all over, all over the paper, not necessarily a repeat stamp, um, so I don't need to use the misty. I just want to make sure that I get a good solid print, uniformly pressure, you know, uniform pressure, and uniformly to to stick that down. Um, I picked three colors. I want to do a brownish, orangish, blue theme. I picked three colors. You can do this all in the same color: two colors, three colors, four colors, whatever you want to do. Here's the idea behind this. I'm going to take this stamp, and I'm just going to start stamping this sheet of paper all over the place. Then I'm going to flip this over, so I'm looking at the blank side, and cut this. When I cut mine, my favorite um, size, let me grab my templates. My favorite size when I layer cards, I have a video on this, so go ahead and check it out. And um, you can see kind of what I'm talking about. But if I take these bigger sets off, this is my favorite size for a card front. Then I usually skip and I go down to, skip one and I go down to the five and a quarter by four and layer that. I just like how that looks. This would be the card base and that's how it's gonna look on the card. So when I cut this, I'm gonna cut these into five inch by three and three quarter pieces, but I don't wanna see what. I'm just gonna cut and not worry about where it sits on the sheet. It's kind of like a, like a secret, you know, mystery cutting and get what you get when you turn it over, all right? Flip this back over. 
All right, let's get started. Here's the cool and fun part of this. I'm using Catherine Puller Ink Spiced, Flame, and Fiesta Blue. I'm gonna start with the Spiced, and I'm just gonna load this up, and I'm just gonna start stamping. No rhyme or reason to this whatsoever. Now, if you're smart enough, you're probably already figuring out roughly where this is gonna cut on the sheet of paper, and so you can kinda lay this out the way you want and cheat. Um, try not to do that. Just put your brain to rest, give it a little nap, and just start stamping, okay? Don't worry about I want it around the border. Because if you want that, you wouldn't be doing this. You would be just cutting it, stamping it the way you want to make your to make your front, right? So there is my spice. I'm gonna leave stop there because I've got two other colors to add to this. Okay. Now I'm gonna come in with flames, a little orangey, orangey red. Okay, just randomly I'm gonna kind of turn this. And I'm okay if these start overlapping. Again, I just don't have any game plan set in mind when I want to do this. The cool thing about this, I'm going to go one more. Oh my God, let's throw something kind of right up in here. Could I use designer series paper and do this? Absolutely. I could pick a designer series paper that would match. Essentially, I'm making my own designer series paper because then I got it to match everything else that I'm going to lay on this card. So it's more matchy, matchy, and and kind of, you know, gives you kind of a whole theme to a card. Feel free to rotate that stamp so they're not all facing the same way, too. Now, I could stop here and leave gaps. Absolutely could do that. I think for this card, or this set of cards, I'm gonna fill down all these gaps with blue. I think just having a little extra blue, because I'm gonna make a blue begonia to go over the top of this. Turn and get right in there. I'm gonna go kinda, hmm. I'm actually gonna grab, uh, we're gonna go one right there. Then I'm gonna grab my brown. I'm gonna go run brown right in the middle of that just to spread the colors out just a little bit. Sorry, my brown, my spiced. Let's give it a little spice right in there. Let's go like so. Okay, this is my designer series paper background now for my card. All right, so let's just bring this up close because you can kind of see. I've got browns, oranges, and blues. Now, let's get out my, my Fiskars. I'm flipping this little baby over. Doesn't really matter because it's full anyway. Um, and now I'm just gonna cut. I like five inch by three and three quarters. So I'm gonna go five and five. So five and five. Keep that strip because I know I'm gonna, I can use that for something. Now I'm gonna turn this and go three and three quarters. So three and three quarters by three and three quarters. I'm gonna have a strip, I'm gonna use that because I can guarantee I'll use that little baby. And then three and three quarters. And three and three quarters. And then I'm gonna save that strip because I'm gonna use that sometime. All right? Now, flip these over and these are my card fronts, okay? This is what I'm gonna use to make my cards. Now I'm gonna do the layering of this begonia, okay? This is just a piece of paper. I took it out of my scrap drawer to be very honest. And we're just gonna do, ah, shoot. I had some color on there. Let's grab another sheet of paper. Right there. Dry this up a little bit so it doesn't do that again. Okay, drop it. 
Now I'm gonna do blues. I'm gonna do three blues. So I'm gonna grab this Fiesta blue that I used in my background so I get a little blendy matchy matchy. And I'm gonna use cummerbund and suede shoes. But I'm gonna do this in black, then I'm gonna do these. So I'm gonna go lightest to middle to darkest is how these layer. So I'm gonna grab my Memento. This is Memento Tuxedo Black, Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to just stamp my outline with this. Okay. You could go gray and go colorless, lineless, um, whatever you wanted to. You don't even have to do the lines. You could just skip again, like I said before, right to that solid. All right. That's good for my outline. Now I'm going to switch my stamp. Okay. And now I've got to go in order of what's in my package here. So we're going to put this one back. And now I'm going to go my solid, which is going to be my lightest. And line this up. I've said this before about Alta New. I love these stamps because if I'm looking at the edge of this stamp, I can see the cut on where this cuts in and follows my lines. Okay? These are so easy to line up, it's ridiculous. Okay? I'm going to take my cummerbund, this is my lightest now, and stamp that. I'm probably just going to do this one time unless I don't get good coverage because I don't want this too dark. I just want a nice light coating on this. I don't want too dark. Got a little texture on that, but I'm actually okay leaving it as is because I know some of this is going to cover. If I wanted that more solid, it's a little speckly. Let's see if I can get that in there. You can kind of see it's a little speckly. I'm okay with that. Absolutely okay with that. All right, now I'm going to go to this one that has the most of my accent, and then I'll go to the least because that overlays this. So now I'm going to go medium and then dark. Okay, and lay this over. Now I can see my lines and my grooves and where this lines up. And you'll once it pops, you'll know it. All of a sudden, it's just lined up once you kind of wiggle and move it a little bit, okay? So now I'm going to go to my second darkest blue. Might stamp this one probably twice to get a good color off of that. Yeah, I want one more. It's close to this color, but I know when I layer these up, it'll darken. Like so. Gorgeous. This is so pretty, so easy to do. I've said this, oh, I can't even tell you how many times when I've done these layered stamps that I just get excited every time they layer because it's so easy and it looks just so cool. Okay, now we're gonna go to my last layer of this and line this one up. Again, I can see the lines where the black is. There's little grooves on the stamp to line up. And once it pops on those lines, it's just like, boom, it's there. Okay. Now I'm using suede shoes. My darkest of the three that I picked, that's just going to add that last layer of dimension. One more little tap. Just to get that to pop a little bit onto that. Wow, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good color combo, Sean, good color combo. Suede shoes, Fiesta Blue, started with Cumberbund, um, is my color combo on this, and check that out. Is that not pretty or what? All right, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna cut that. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I already have one leaf I had made from another card. So I'm gonna make one more leaf just to show you these leaves on this. And then um, we're gonna assemble, we're gonna assemble this card. Okay, now here is my outline. I'm gonna use this sheet again because I can squeeze it right into there. 
This is my outline piece. So I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to use Memento for my outline. Okay? Outline. One stamp is good on that one, actually. Okay. Now I'm going to do my solid. So I'm using the solid piece, this one right here. And I'm going to line that up. This one has the grooves cut. So if you line up those veins and the outside, it'll, uh, it'll just pop right in there. Okay. Now I'm going to reach down and grab my greens. I have three favorite greens um, that I do for my leaves. Okay, these are my three favorites. Add my fourth, that's my fourth, okay? Lime Ricky, Grass Skirt, and then my other one is Martini. I know my other leaf had these, so I'm gonna use, use these, but those are my four for my leaves and my greeneries and all that stuff with this line. Um, so I'm gonna start with Lime Ricky, my lightest, again, because it's my solid. Okay. And sometimes with these solids, you might have to stamp it twice because it it might kind of uh, bubble up or not get a good good coverage on it. This one did pretty good on the first try. Okay, then I go to the one with the most. So it's, you do most to least is how this layers up on these. Again, I'm going to line up those veins because I can see the veins and the outside of this. And now I'm going to grab my grass skirt, which is my medium green. And this is going to start adding that dimension onto these. Okay. You can kind of see that dimension already starting there. One is good on that as well. Then my last one, which just adds that last accent of veins and stuff on there, is going to be my deck the halls. Again, I can see the stem and then the accent of where these are going to fall against those veins. These are, again, are so easy to line up. That's it. That's good on that one stamp of that, too. Got good coverage on those. So these are my favorites. Lime Ricky, Grass Skirt, Deck the Halls, and then Martini I, I use quite a bit, too. Okay? There is my leaf. I've got one other leaf already done from another card I had made an extra. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go die cut these and um, then we're going to come back and we're going to layer up this card and see how this looks as the matchy matchy kind of blended and colors and same stamp set for my backgrounds, which we did here. All right, hang tight. Okay, we are back. And before I show you the die cuts and the uh, finished card here, I just wanted to show you, I made another sample really quick of what you can do. So this one is the Build a Flower Canterbury Bells stamp set. I used the outline stamp right here, okay? I used a purple, a pink, and a green, and I just layered this all the way around, spreading it out, no rhyme or reason, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just flip this over. I'll cut this into my five inch by three and three quarter panels. And I'll have panels then just like these, um, like we did for my um, other set. I got some glare going on there. See if we can get all the colors in there. There you go. Um, bring that a little closer so you can just kind of see the colors of what I did. Overlapping, um, did around the edges, upside down, sideways, and right side up, just to get it all over the place, all right? There's my sample. So let's just switch. Let me clean up my workspace here. We'll switch and uh, start back with the uh, die cuts. Okay, we are back. I have die cut out my leaf. I had the extra one already. Die cut out my flowers. I stamped the You Are Awesome and then fussy cut around it. This is from the same Begonia layered stamp set. Uh, you Are Awesome. I also had this one in my stash, um, which I may end up doing this one too. I'm not sure if it's going to be a happy birthday or you are awesome, but um, I might do you are awesome since it came with the stamp set. Okay, now let's just uh, layer this up. I found some cardstock that I felt matched really nice to go for my background. So let's layer this up here first. All right, and glue this down. 
find my glue. So I feel like not bad for just kind of taking a stamp set, making it your own, but also then create this card full on from every layer and using that stamp set to do so. You've got a nice matching set, essentially, right? Because now I just made my whole background off of that. Now I'm just bringing that design forward with my, um, my layers. All right, I'm going to pop this up on some dimensionals. So I want to pop the flower up. And then I'm going to put the leaves directly down. So I'm going to lay this where I want it. I'm going to go in the corner here. And then I'm going to put my leaves down first. Of where I want these leaves to go. I should have reversed this, um, this leaf, but that's okay. I think if I cover up, you won't be able to tell. There we go. So put this like so, and I want this right in the corner. Let's see if I can turn that just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna corner that just like so, okay? Layer these leaves down, like so. Pop the flower up sentiment, and um, we got ourselves a card. Before I do that, I'm going to layer this down on my card base. A2 uh, side fold base. Again, let's go back to the beginning. I used my favorite layers. So I did the three and three quarters by five. And then I did my blue five and a quarter by four. And those are generally my favorite layers. I just got this a little crooked. Try that one more time. These are my favorite sizes uh, that I generally use 95% of the time. Okay. Just reposition that just a little bit. better. I'm going to put my flower down first before I do this. I think I'm going to do the You Are Awesome just because now that I got the leaves in there, um, that happy birthday is going to be just a little too big. So we're just going to use this, this full set, the full Borgonia set, completely including that sentiment. This like so. Okay. And I'm going to put that, I think, up on um, a little bit dimensional, too, I think. Just a little. These are just little tiny strips that I have. Um, they're not super thick. Probably an eighth, eighth, eighth of an inch, I think. So you don't get a lot. Of, you don't get a lot of depth. Just enough to pop pop it up a tiny. And then last thing I want to do because I want to carry this theme to the inside of my card. Um, I'm gonna go over my leaf. I think just a little bit on that. I want to keep it on the white. Okay. I just want to bring this inside my card a little bit. I put my outline back on my block and I'm going to do two brown and a blue just on the inside, right in this corner. So I'm going to go corner like so. Then I'm going to do the blue right in that center. That way it just kind of carries that into the um, accent of the inside. Not so plain. Just like so. All right, here we go. Now I have 
three more panels, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, make myself a set, okay? There is our finished card. You are awesome. I think this deserves a little, uh, Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. All right, you guys. Here is my card. Here is the layered begonia set by Alta New. Um, I created my own DSP paper on the back side. I layered my flower and the leaves, used the sentiment from them as well. And uh, you got yourself a card. Start to finish using one set. Brand new. Think outside the box. All right? There you go. There you have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking to the end. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and follow my journey as I explore new things along with you and uh, just see what we can come up with. So thanks for hanging in there. And until next time, I'll see you then.